Hi, in this video I'm going to take a minute to explain a term you may have come across, GNSS. GNSS is a generic term to describe satellite navigation systems. It stands for Global Navigation Satellite System. Now there's no doubt you've heard of one GNSS system. It's called GPS, the Global Positioning System, and it's owned and maintained by the US military. What that means is it's up to them when it's available and how accurate it is. On that basis, it's perhaps unsurprising to learn that other nations have either developed or are in the process of developing their own solutions. Russia, for example, has its own version of GPS called GLONASS. To all intents, it works in the same way as GPS. There's a constellation of satellites in orbit sending down unique signals. Using a receiver down on Earth, you can track those signals and calculate an accurate position measurement. The benefit of this is if you have a GNSS receiver that is capable of decoding the signal from several different types of GNSS, it increases the chance that you'll see a good number of satellites even when working in environments where the antenna doesn't have a good view of the sky. The benefit of that is the more satellites the receiver can see, the better the quality of your measurement. So the term GNSS is being used more and more often to describe hardware. For example, people might call it a GNSS receiver and then list the systems that the receiver can understand separately. Likewise, if someone's talking about the GPS signal, chances are they mean the GPS signal and not GNSS signals, which might include GLONASS. I hope this video has been useful to you and on behalf of OXTS, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos.